a once in a generation winter storm mm -hmm. is plunging much of the country into those frigid temperatures. Yeah, heavy snow and strong winds have created chaos in the Midwest with the Northeast bracing for Friday's impact. CBS News Jared Hill is live from LaGuardia Airport with the latest. Jared, right. good morning. Good morning, Maribel and Austin. You know, this massive winter storm is creating what some are calling one of the most treacherous holiday travel seasons the U.S. has seen in decades. And the fallout could last well beyond the weekend. Pre-holiday headaches as a historic winter storm bears down on much of the country. Frigid temperatures in Texas led to power outages, leaving some residents in the dark on the coldest day of the season so far. I'm really glad that I have a fireplace because otherwise I'd be freezing right now. Heavy snow and wind squalls blasted through the Midwest, causing many shoppers in Indiana to make a mad dash to the stores for last minute groceries and propane tanks to keep warm. It's always the first snow that freaks people out. The icy conditions have wreaked havoc on Christmas travel plans for the millions who are hitting the roads. Like even in the areas that have been plowed really well, if you get above 40 miles an hour, you start sliding around. And also those hitting the skies with more than 12,000 flights canceled or delayed Thursday, according to FlightAware. Chicago's O'Hare Airport was one of the hardest hit. I have this insane itinerary now. It's been a little nerve wracking. AAA estimates that as many as 7 million Americans will crowd into the nation's airports this holiday season but they can expect more flight disruptions as the storm moves eastward. Even after the storm passes, the severe cold freezing throughout much of the country could slow down the airline's recovery plans for days. Now, so far today, according to FlightAware, there are more cancellations going into, within, and out of the United States than there were yesterday, potentially causing headaches for a whole lot of folks. Guys, back to you. Thanks so much. Yeah, just a mess at, yeah. at the worst time here, just days before Christmas, Jared. Thank you so much.